call this spraying Caitlyn with olive oil. Yo, that would be bro. If I actually did that, that'd be the best video of all time. Your eyes just like. Do it. Oh, that one. Yes, you can. I could touch that. This is a shorter thing. Yeah, that's like eight feet, maybe. No, that's like nine. What? That's like eight feet. That's not eight feet. Dude, that was close though, Jig. You can almost dunk. It was sad, actually. So, so no jokes today? What? No jokes today? She told us. So did you just start looking up jokes after you just kept getting asked? Oh my goodness. Y'all, she's getting old, bro. She's getting old, bro. All right, try it. Come on, Jake. Currently, we are doing Kayla's spaghetti. We have, we're making burgers for ourselves, but we're doing her spaghetti for her because, you know, I'm a master chef. Don't right. okay. vlog. Okay, I was, I was just gonna show what I finished making, and you said, just say what you said real quick. What do you mean? Should you put what in it? Um, I can't say the crazy that I've had, but, never mind, I'm not even gonna say that. Shit. Look what I did, y'all, look. Ah, Alex did his thing, man. Ah. Yeah, she said she was gonna put pickles in it, by the way. We're just getting done, getting done, getting done. First time using this cut of beef. I'm gonna go back to ground beef next time, but I just wanna see how this tastes because it's a lot less expensive. And I'm sure if I put some cheese on top, it'll taste the exact same, so I ain't even worried about it. Hey, but it came out good though. Cut your light, the inside's gonna be nice, so that's all we care about. Nice little, little bit pink, very light pink, like almost no pink, really. Just you just want like enough to the point where it's tender, you know? at one point. Him who fear him 
those who put their hope in his faithful love. God restores Jerusalem is the name of the, uh, the, of the song. But I'd like to let it be known, the Lord values you. The Lord values those who fear him, those who put their hope in his faithful love. The Lord values you. Now, look, there may be people watching today and they might say, well, I don't put my faith, my, my faith in uh, my trust in his faithful love because I don't believe. Or someone who says, I, I trust him, but not fully. Uh, I'm half hearted into it. I mean, there's some times where it's, it's really easy and sometimes really hard. I, I, I want you to understand, regardless of this, the Lord loves you. But understand as well, there's a value on those that the Lord has marked. You are a chosen people. The last verse in it says, the last verse says, he has not done this for every nation. They do not know his judgments. You are a chosen people. God restored Jerusalem. It didn't say God restored the world. We are a chosen people. The day when Jesus Christ came to the earth, hang blood and died on the cross, he did so that we may have connection with the father. That was the new covenant. The, the Lord had made many covenants in the Bible, but the main covenants that we'll speak of, of course, or that which he had made with with um, Israel and that which he had made with Abraham, the ones that that, that led up to the, the entire Jewish nation or the Jewish population that that was led to us um, Gentiles being grafted into into um, the kingdom of God. Because when Jesus came, it opened it up to everybody. And, and it was it wasn't about blood anymore. It wasn't about about the nation um, in, in a physical stance, but the nation in a spiritual stance. It came to us all being connected spiritually because regardless of, of the, the flesh, the blood, we are all we are all bound together and, and bonded together by the blood of Christ. All those who put faith in it, all who put faith in him. That is where we are all made to connect. And once you have done that, you have you have joined the, and truly become a member of the, of the body of Christ. And when you've done that, you have been restored. And so it, it, this turns from God restores Jerusalem to God restored you. God restores us. God restores all who trust in his faithful love. God values you. Do you see the value? Do you walk in the value? Do you know the value? Because if you don't know the value, then, then, then you, have to, you have to read this again. Verse 20. He has not done this for every nation. They do not know his, his, his judgments, which means that, that we are supposed to know his judgments, his goodness. The, and, and understand, judgments is something in the Bible that goes two ways. There's, there's, there's the good judgment and the bad judgment. And judgments don't just talk about heaven and hell. There's judgment on earth as well. But but let's talk let's talk about the afterlife. There's judgment. There's heaven. There's hell. Those those are the the, the biggest judgment on judgment day when Jesus Christ comes and, and he and he judges us, either good or bad. And, and understand what makes you good or bad? Have it, um, black or white. There, it's it's a it's an easy concept. Obviously, it's either being a sinner or being saved. You are saved by Christ Jesus. You are a sinner when you live in the world and you do not choose Jesus. It's the easiest thing to understand, but it's the hardest thing for people to choose because. Because once you choose one, you must stay in one. And I'm not saying that if, if you've lived in sin for years, you can't come back to Christ. That's not true at all. I lived in sin for, for all my life, truly, until the age of, of um, 16. And I still struggled, but I was no longer a sinner because I gave my life to Christ. And I gave it up. I, I fell sometimes. I struggled sometimes. But it was God who healed me. It was God who fixed me. It was God who restored me. So understand, you're, you're not a bad person. I mean, you're not a good person because you can do good things. It, it, and you're, you're not a bad person because you do bad things. That's not that's not the true definition. It comes down from from either you're a sinner or not a sinner. That's really the, that's the black and white of it all. I don't care if you, if you give to charity. I don't care if you do all this stuff. That's great stuff. And I'm thankful. But if you're not if you're not giving to charity and saving lives, if you're not telling them about Jesus Christ, then all you've done is vain. All you've done is put food and clothes on their back in the world and you've left them homeless in eternity. Our mission is in eternity. Our job is to is to is to help build more and more homes in the kingdom of Christ, to build more and more people up in Christ, that we may have more and um do be more have more evangelism in this world, have more missionaries in the world, and more people looking to spread the word of the Lord in this world. We need more teachers, we need more listeners, we just need people willing to, to sit down and enter the God's kingdom and do his will. And that only happens once once we start to move in our restoration, once we begin to acknowledge 
that we know God's judgments because too many of us know judgments and, and, and are either too caught up in this world to walk in it or just not ready to accept that the judgments are real. But either way, once you've come to Christ, he's placed the judgments on you and you have to walk in it. Yeah, I'm, these are my, uh, these are probably my two favorite verses in there. I'm just going to keep jumping back and forth because it says the Lord values those who fear him. Those who put their hope in his faithful love. He values you. Now that he's put that value in you, you have to move like it. It's like a title. Once you, once you call this girl your girlfriend, you have to move like she's your girlfriend. You put a value on her. She has to move like she's your girlfriend and you have to move like she's your girlfriend. You place the value now. You have to respect her and she has to respect you. And y'all have to be willing to, 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 to know the, relation, the relationship you have and move in accordance to it. Don't place value on things and don't and don't believe you know the value of things if you're not willing to act on it. It doesn't make sense. Don't accept things if you're not ready to move in it. And the thing is, when you come to Christ, you're not supposed to come perfect. Because here, it, it makes it quite clear. It said, look, I'm going to read these, these, these four, four, um, five verses right here because this, when I read this, it explained everything to me about the Lord and his relationship to his people. The Lord, the Lord is not God of perfect people. The Lord is a perfect God of unperfect people who makes unperfect people perfect in him, if that makes sense to you. You'll never be perfect on your own. You'll never be perfect in general. You're, 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 you were born into sin. It's impossible. It's too late. But what will he do? He'll fix you, put you together, and you are going to be wonderfully and perfectly made, in, and you are in his sight. And, and, and you may not be perfect, but he is a perfect God and he will put you together and piece you together. And because you were made this image originally, but now it's time for you. To, he's going to put it in you that you can walk in it in accordance to it. It says the Lord rebuilds Jerusalem. Us, you know what I'm saying? The Lord rebuilds Jerusalem. He gathers Israel's exiled people. He heals the brokenhearted and bandages their wounds. He counts the number of the stars. He gives names to all of them. He counts the number of the stars. He gives names to all of them. When you give something a name, I, to, I don't know about y'all, but that, that, that gives you purpose. I don't know about y'all, before I found God, I had a lot of ideas and a lot of things I found cool, but they were all vain. But the second I found God, I found my purpose. And I've been living it. I'm loving it. And, and, and that's what he can do for all of us. He'll give us a name in him. Beforehand, of course, you have your name. I, my Alex, AB, whatever you want to call me. But at the end of the day, my 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 real my true purpose my true value is not given by my specific name but which god calls me and what does he call me he calls me redeemed he calls me saved he he calls me blessed he calls me all these wonderful things that he has called me to be and if i choose to walk in the world then i'm not going to be walking in in the perfection of the lord or, or the uh, the lord has and that he's called me to, to to value or he's called me to show in this world and that's why i i have to look past the name that the world calls me and look to the name that the god calls me you know what i'm saying because he's called you redeemed and saved. But if you don't, if you're not walking redeemed and saved, then what does it mean? You got you gotta you gotta value it above all else. Our Lord is great, vast in power, his understanding is infinite. The Lord helps the oppressed, but brings the wicked to the ground. Our Lord is great, vast in power, his understanding is infinite. He, we, he, he can do all things, and because he can do all things, we can do all things through Christ which strengthen us. Because it's not us moving, it's him moving in us. And, and, and if God can do all things, then there's no limit to what he can do in our lives. No limit A, B. Hey, it's either A, B, or no limit, or no limit A, B, but it's always no limit because God made me. And I'll stand on that for the rest of my life. Whether I go by that or not, it's always no limit because there is no limit on those who walk in Christ. Because he's put a value on us. And he's put his... The fact that a God with infinite ability and infinite power has placed time and energy on you should tell you enough about the value you hold. And if you don't believe that there's a value in your name, if you don't find a purpose in your life, then you, you are not reading the same Bible. You're not reading the right Bible. And it's time that we get out of the mindset of this world because the world tries to tell us that we are nothing, that we'll never be anything. That's why there's so much suicide, so much sadness in this world, so much depression, so much lostness, so much unpurposeful uh, actions and life going on because we're not seeing the purpose that is in us. We're too focused on what the world tries to give us purpose in, too focused on sex and, and money and drugs and life. Not understanding that true purpose is found in, in, in the scripture. True purpose is found in the word true purpose is found in god true purpose is found in living a christ-like life true purpose is found in doing the work of the kingdom and once you find that out you will live a purposeful life you'll never look back you'll you'll, you'll be happy and and you may struggle at times you may go through through dark periods but understand that in the day the lord is present 
and, and, and his presence is all you need because because peace is not the absence of the situation but the presence of god in the situation that is peace and that is love that he gives by even being there a, a wonderful God that's infinite, a wonderful God with all his ability and all his glory, who, who is perfect, comes to an unperfect man, an unperfect woman, and, and shares his love with them that they may be made whole again. He gives them a name. He numbers the numbers of stars, and he gives them a name. He numbers his people, and he gives them a name. He calls them redeemed. He calls them holy. He calls them, he calls them righteous, and what? He calls them renewed, and if you don't walk in it, it's time to walk in because he, he has given it to us, and he's placed a value on us, and it's not anything to take lightly why because god restores jerusalem and god restores you god has restored jerusalem and god restores you the lord values those who fear him those who put their hope in his faithful love the lord values you he has not done this for every nation. They do not know his judgments. The Lord values you. <laughs> Let us pray. Father, there's a value on our name. There's a there's, there's blood on our name. The blood of Jesus has been has been dripped and dropped all over our name in this time, Lord God, that we move and act like it. We have been stained by the blood of Jesus. And what a beautiful stain to hold. It's one, Lord God, that we will wear proudly. Jesus lifted up the cross, Lord God, hang, blood, and died that we may have eternal life, that we may rest and abide in your presence for eternity, that we may worship for eternity. The, la the last word in that, in, 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 that, in that Psalms is hallelujah. Because the Lord has redeemed his people, and that is something to worship and shout about. Hallelujah. How can we move lightly? How can we sin and be happy? How can we move away from you and be happy when you have done great things in our lives? Hallelujah. Lord, I lift my hands to you because you are a great God who's placed a value on my name. And you've not done this for every person. You offered it, but not every person accepted it. And you put it before my face, Father. And because you were good to me, because you put it on my heart, Lord God, to accept you, I have been saved and I can say thank you. And that's not something to take lightly. We thank you, Father. And we say hallelujah. And we praise thy great name because there's a value on us. And because we have a value, we will walk. Because there's a purpose and a plan that you are put in place for your people. And because it's there, Lord God, I will move in accordance. Hallelujah. God restored Jerusalem. And God restored us. Lord, you restored us. And I say thank you. Please, Father, help us and move us and be and, and let us show, Lord God, your grace, your 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 mercy in the way that we live, that people will see what you've done for us and how you've changed us. Let us not move the same, because if we move the same, we're not showing any change. And people aren't gonna think nothing works. And it's not your fault but ours. And it's time, Lord God, that we stop letting people talk on our God because of things we do. Because for some reason, man likes to look at man and, and make an assumption of who God is. Not understand that our God is perfect and we are imperfect. And, and, and for that to be true, it should be obvious not to look at us, Lord God. But because man can, a lot of men, when they're outside of the spirit, don't know how to look at the spirit. They like to look at the flesh. And it's time, Lord God, that we stop using this flesh for fleshful things and start using it to, to exalt the spirit. So I call, Lord God, for you to, to just move and, and shine your light through us. That your son, Lord God. And the beautiful light that he shines and the blood that has stained and drenched, Lord God, our lives and our and when you have a new garment on, Lord God, we will show it and we will show it, Lord God, in faith and we will shout hallelujah on the high and people will come by, by, by the numbers more than the stars and be named and be restored in the name of Jesus. For God, we say we love you. and We thank you. We worship and praise your name on high, Father. It's in Jesus name we pray. In Jesus name we all pray. Amen. Man, no Connor. Usually I can flip it and Connor be there. He's not there today. Um, but y'all, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. It's a shorter one. But, you know, all these are going to get shorter lately. We're doing better with that, trying to keep them all short. But I pray you enjoyed today, man. I enjoyed it. it. Today was a fun day. But if you enjoyed it, make sure you leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And I pray you enjoyed the vibe. Amen. No limit, gang. Yeah.
Told myself I didn't care It made me kiss some more Staying at the ceiling Things to do But I'ma stare some more Wondering what I gotta do They keep saying let it go Sometimes it be hard to let go The only thing you know Some relationships last forever But sometimes People that you thought would be forever Only sometimes Mean what they saying about forever Cause sometimes People just be saying anything Yeah sometimes